Thank you both for everything. We're glad we could help him as much as we did. Dante is, he's strong. He was really fighting in there. That's Dante. I just wish there was more I could do to help. I guess we all wish that, though. It's the waiting. It's the worst part of it all. It's like time. It stops. I've spent a lot of time in this hospital, mostly waiting on people that I love. And it never gets any easier. The surgery's gonna take a while, but I will keep checking in with the team and I'll make sure to update you and Olivia. Okay. Well, um, we would appreciate that. Thank you. Right? Really doesn't get easier, does it? No. No, it doesn't. All right, so I'd like you to tell us everything that happened. Exactly as it happened. Everything you remember. Uh, Joss and I were driving back to Port Charles. Yes, and I have an app on my phone, and it said that police scanners were reporting gunfire out on the waterfront. We assumed that that meant Sunny, so we went straight to the pier. You work for Sunny, correct? Not anymore. He fired me two weeks ago. Yeah, you still felt compelled to check on him. I did. Okay. Continue. So, what did you see when you found Dante? Um, well, we already told you. Yeah, I know. I'd like you to tell me again. Because sometimes you remember things that you forget the first time. Okay, yeah, of course. Um, we got there. Dante was lying there. The second we got to him, it became clear that somebody had given him first aid because he had that sweatshirt wrapped around him and his legs were elevated. How were his legs elevated exactly? Uh, someone folded up a bulletproof vest and stuck it under his legs. Anything else? Yes, yes, there was a phone next to Dante on a call with 911. And I picked it up and I spoke to the operator. You handled the phone? Yeah. Was I not supposed to? I mean, he was lying there, bleeding and gasping for air. I'm just trying to figure out what happened, Jocelyn. It's clear the two of you demonstrated extraordinary presence of mind. You're doing great. So, you pick up the phone. The line is open to 911. Yeah, um, and the operator said that she had spoken to somebody else, but that they had left and... That the paramedics were almost there. And then we started hearing the sirens and Chase showed up. I found Dex and Jocelyn giving first aid. Shortly after I arrived, Dante's heart stopped. Uh, I performed chest compressions. Joss did rescue breathing and we got his heart started right before the paramedics got there. Then they took over. Thank you. Uh, not only is Dante one of our finest officers, he's also a friend. And it's clear you saved his life. And the PCPD and I personally owe you a great debt. 